Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to your fifth lesson on PHP programming. And today we're going to cover strings in a little bit more detail. We've already created string variables, but we're going to discuss why strings are so important, and that's for building parsers, for example. And so you may have some text, and you actually want to pull out a name or pull out some mathematical quantities that you need to do some calculations on, and you need to build parsers to do that. And, and, you, and you'll use strings and string methods to do that. And today we're going to discuss some basic string stuff. The use of curly brackets, concatenation, and string functions. And what you're going to find your best friend to be is www.php.net. Because I could not do enough tutorial to cover the richness of PHP and all the methods that are available. But uh, using uh, php.net, once you learn the basic language, you can go in there and pretty much discover whatever you want to do. So I've pasted some text in between my PHP tags, and we're going to uncomment them and discuss each one as we move along. And so what I'm trying to do is create a little Christmas ad. And so I started with my first text variable. Once again, just use the dollar sign to declare that variable. I camo typed it with a small letter for my first word and a large letter for my second one. And then I just put in some uh, a string. So to create a string in PHP, very easy. Just put some text in between a quote, and that's all there is to it. So I have my string, and then I want to keep track of that. Now say I have some type of engine in the background that's keeping track of the number of days until Christmas. It just happened to be the fifth day right here. So that's my second variable. And so that's a number. So I have a number and a string. Now what I'm going to do some right now is a big no-no in some languages. I'm going to actually mix numbers and strings. Now PHP doesn't care because it's loose, strict typed, and it figures out what you're working with automatically. So if you're programming with variables, it's very easy in PHP. So what I'm going to do is take my number, and I'm going to concatenate it using the dot sign with the string. Isn't that easy? So now that I've put something into a string, for example, into a variable, I no longer have to work directly with that string, and that makes PHP extremely powerful. So I'm going to add those two together, and I want to, and I want to echo that out with a result. And so I'm going to echo that string 3, that new string I just created, which concatenates the number and the text. And I'll use the break tag to give me a new line. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll go ahead and save this as my ad, for example. File, save as. We'll call it my ad. And we'll hit save. And let's bring up our browser and see what we get. So type in localhost, the name of the course, and my ad. If I remember how that's spelled. And what I get is and what I get is five shopping days into Christmas. Perfect. But let's take this a step further. I'd like to make this just a little bit more powerful, so I'm going to create another string. And I'll call this string 4. And now I'm going to use something called curly brackets. This is a curly bracket convention. And if you're used to Flex Builder, you're, you're familiar with bindable expressions. So it's somewhat like a bindable expression. And I'm going to put this number in those curly brackets, and I'll just paste my text on the end of this for an example. And so what's going to happen here, you can imagine like you had an emailing list, for example, and you wanted to change the name for each emailing list. You'd actually use this curly bracket convention in your text. And so whenever it sees that curly bracket, just substitute that variable directly into your text. That's a, that's a pretty cool convention. Let's go ahead and echo that out. So I'm going to copy this. Now you can see me copying a lot of text because I don't like to re retype because I always make mistakes when I retype. So use that copy paste and just change the variable for. Let's save this and run it and see what we get. Go back to your browser, localhost. My ad, and you get the same thing. Basically, you can now see the power of that curly brackets. So whenever that quantity changes now, it actually changes what's inside the text. Really cool uh, convention. Now let's take a look at concatenation. So I'm back in my boilerplate, and I've actually pasted in some comment code that we're actually going to uncomment uh, and go through it line by line. But I'm going to show you an easier way to concatenate things, and also a method that you're going to use over and over again in PHP. So let's start with our first. Uh, variable, then we'll just call that A and that's equal to 5. And then our second variable will be B, and we're going to use that curly bracket convention, which means it's going to take 5, put it in where the curly brackets is, and concatenate it or add it to more shopping days into Christmas. So this should print out 5 more shopping days into Christmas. But what I want to do is say Merry Christmas, so Merry Christmas, 5 more shopping days into Christmas. So I'll put in Merry Christmas here as another string in quotes, Merry Christmas. So there's a shorthand way to add those together. And I could do this by typing in C again. And that, that equals C concatenate with B. And it makes sense, right? And I'll copy my variables because I like doing this. Control C, Control V. Get in the habit of copying your variables. Dot. Let's do the B variable. Control C, Control B. 
And that will do it. And basically, we'll take the uh, Merry Christmas string and concatenate it with the five more days until Christmas. But there's an easier way to do this, a shorthand notation, which you'll use over and over again in this series and in PHP, and that's the dot equals. And what the dot equals is, is a shorthand technique for basically uh, doing this. So let's see how that works. Dot equals means take the C and dot it with B and then stick it back into the C variable. So let's comment out the second one and see if that indeed is what it does. So let's echo that out and see what we get. And we'll save this as concat and we'll run it. So go to localhost, a PHP course, concat.php. And when you run that, you do indeed get the uh, Merry Christmas, and concatenate it to that is five more shopping days unto Christmas. And essentially, this shorthand notation can be used over and over again, the dot equals, as opposed to typing out the entire C equals C dot B. And you're going to see this convention used over and over again, specifically when you start dealing with numbers. So let's go ahead and quickly review what we covered today. We covered creating strings and how to concatenate two strings together. We covered the use of curly brackets and talked about how useful that would be. And specifically, if you had an emailing campaign, you could put the name of the individuals you wanted to email in curly brackets in the text itself and actually replace those variables from a database. Then we actually covered concatenation and showed you this real cool shorthand technique for concatenating two strings. And we'll continue with this next time with string functions. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.